Witness News, this story. A moment of silence today at the Nautilus Museum in Groton as the Navy recalled the soldiers and sailors and airmen who fought during World War II. Commemorating the Battle of Midway 77 years ago today and D-Day 75 years ago tomorrow. The tales now from Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan. A somber moment today at the USS Nautilus Museum in Groton as Jessica Hoadley tossed a wreath to honor those who fought at Midway 77 years ago, including her late father, Navy radio man Dean Brown, a sailor on board the USS Trout. He passed away in April at the age of 96. The Navy meant a lot to him. It was his life. My mother always said that my father was married to the Navy. <laughs> And I think she was right. Subbase New London also shared the stories of sailors now gone of landing on Normandy 75 years ago tomorrow. Disembarking, Ensign Karnowski led his team in placing a small satchel charges on the obstacles in the water. As June 6, 1944 dawned, nearly 7,000 ships and landing craft, 7,000, delivered an Allied invasion force numbering some 150,000 personnel to the Normandy beaches. This working ferry boat at Cross Sound Ferry, the Cape Henlopen, was there. But 75 years ago, it was named LST-510, a troop carrier. It brought hundreds of soldiers to the beaches of Normandy. we become friends with a number of the crew members from the LST-510, and we hosted anniversary reunions on the 50th, 60th, and 65th. And to my knowledge, there are still three crew members still alive today. During recent work, a memorial was installed on board the Cape Henlopen to recall the boat's former military service and those who served on her. So tomorrow morning at about 1130, the former LST 510, the Cape Henlopen, will be relaunched after a major renovation. And you could be here on the 75th anniversary of Normandy. With the Mobile Newsroom in New London, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Fascinating history, isn't it? It sure is. If you want to learn more about LST 510, now the Cape Henlopen Ferry, just go to the Channel 3 app. We've been on that a few times. Yes, we have. It's pretty amazing. And we'll be right back.